Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a 2022 travel trailer. We just became a, a dealership for this brand and this is their flagship couples premier travel trailer that is super luxury and nice. This is a 2022 Winnebago Voyage model 2831RB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Voyage and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tellables. It's World's Line Channel. Gives you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel and toy hauler that we review. And again today, I'm super excited to be taking a look at a top of the line Winnebago travel trailer, The Voyage. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. How to Will? Hey guys. How's it going? It's going good. So Matt, is this our first 2022? Yes. I think so, yeah. So that's exciting. As you guys can tell, 2022s are starting to roll in. Yep. So, um, but yeah, I'm excited to take a look at this. I haven't seen a Voyage before. Right, and I took a little sneak peek on the inside. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and it's no secret, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of Winnebago decor choices. Okay. It's not that they're bad, it's just yeah. it's not my cup of tea. I really like the way they designed this one. It's a little different. Yeah. Let's begin. All right. Model is Winnebago Voyage. 2831 RB. The actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this travel trailer is 31 feet 8 inches. The dry weight is 7,460 pounds. And will that hitch weight? 840 pounds. Always remember, you want to use weight distribution bars no matter what. That's right. We do have our lipper component power tongue jack here. Propane tank goes right here. Batteries and your spare tire, spare tire carrier is right there. This is a nice painted and molded fiberglass front cap. I love the LED lights and I love how they're flexing Winnebago. Right. You know, Winnebago is one of those manufacturers that nobody knows what a Voyage is, but everybody knows what a Winnebago For is. For sure, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Diamond plate rock guard here and everything. Right here, we do have nice storage held up by a magnet. And it's not, it's as wide as everybody else, but it's definitely tall. It is, yeah. It is tall and nice. You have your light right here. You can see the aluminum framing with the fiberglass sides. Very nice. Right here, we do have speakers on the outside. They fold up aluminum steps. Not mad at that because they do have the solid step option down there. And at least these steps are gonna be the aluminum ones. Right. Coming on down the side here. We have a place for you to put your TV and everything. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Castle Rocks. I love those. They're the ST225-75 R15. And we do have Dexter axles right there. And then it says potable water fill, but I don't see where you fill it. Right. So I guess that's just a sticker there. Water heaters right here. We do have these nice Morag step above steps. This is probably where your potable water fill is. Yeah, probably. Something that I really like. You got the Comfort Tech Pack, Explorer Packs, three year warranty. But this sticker, the Asdale Sidewall Composite, which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. And we do have a pretty nice awning with LED lights. Will, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. All right. Great, very nice power awning with LED lights. Would you look at that? That's pretty nice. Yeah, it sure is. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. 250 pound hitch, you cannot tow anything about uh, you can't tow anything. It is good for vertical weight like a bike rack. It is also prepped for the Voyager backup camera. Also, we do have a ladder to get up on the roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go, Will. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. One air conditioning unit prepped for the second one. I am not mad about that, especially with the AC shortage going on. Right here, you have your King Air digital antenna. Nice sky dome right there. And there you can see that it already has two solar panels for the roof. Yeah, great. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. 
Finishing up with the driver's side. Oh, nice. Power stabilizing jacks. I love that. Yeah, that's Push awesome. Push of a button. 50 amp service again, one AC unit prep for two. Very nice. Right there's where you dump your tanks in a little bit of an awkward position. Okay. Right over here is going to be more water fill. Potable. Potable. Cable connection, uh, outdoor shower, and everything right here. Battery disconnect and everything. Other side of that storage. Well, Will. The outside of this travel channel looks great, but trust me guys, you're going to love the inside. Let's go, take a look. All right. This is nice. All right, we'll start back here. We've got the bathroom. We got the living area right here kitchen dining area here and all the way up front is the bedroom where do you want to start i don't know right here okay we're gonna do the middle first and we're gonna start right here sounds good very nice comfortable yeah that seat. looks nice this is big it's nice everything's kind of oversized in here it's very comfortable you got your cup holders here i call this the parachute the right. seat. Not electric, no big deal. Look at how big these windows are. They are. They all have MCD blinds. Yep. There's no storage above it. Like, the storage is nice, but then you don't get the big windows. Exactly. You don't get that open concept or nothing. You have a place for your remotes, cup holders and everything, and it is directly across from the entertainment center. Right over here. We do have some storage up there. Insignia TV right here, Will. DVD player, look, they got the cell phone charger cool. right there. Uh, in a flame fireplace with storage right there. And can you get that side? Yep. Right there, same thing. Yes. And then behind it, Ooh. this is where some deep storage is. That's what I'm saying. You don't need the storage above the dinette and above the sofa right there, because you have a ton of cabinetry space right, right there. That's a super nice feature. It is. And then over here's the dinette. We do have some storage underneath the dinette. Same on that side. There is carpet, you yeah. know how we feel about that. But again, look at this. This is a booth dinette that normally Will and I won't fit well at. You feel okay there? I'm feeling okay. You know, the big windows help, the natural light, the MCD blinds. This is very, very nice. And then this can drop down to make a bed. But again, this trailer, you don't want to make a bed. No. You know? It's for two. It's for two. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty nice. And will. Yeah. You know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. Okay. MSRP. On this travel trailer here is... Winnebago did not spare no expense. No? $54,583 MSRP. Yeah, that ain't cheap. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't have a sale price. It's a 2022, folks. It just came in. But trust me, we do have a sale price. We just can't advertise it because it is so good and low. And we promise you guys, if you're interested in this trailer and you want to buy it, we will get you the best price in America. Will, if somebody wants the best price, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to general RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. It doesn't matter what they do. As long as they fill out the Matt Cash form, it doesn't matter if they talk to one of our online salespeople or if they go into one of our general RV locations. 
As long as they fill out the Matt Cash form, what will they always get? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. And before we do, didn't even notice the head height here. That's awesome. This is a very well constructed uh, travel trailer for it sure. sure is. I mean, typically with these floor plans where you kind of have that corner kitchen, yep. you do not have a lot of counter space, but yep. this one's pretty good. So right here, you got some storage up above. Very nice. They have the glass, but it's darker, so I like that. It doesn't show too much through. Okay, okay. Um, nice backsplash here. goes all the way from top to bottom. Yep. Again, nice countertop space here. It's not solid surface. Wow. Yeah, that's a little surprising. It sure is. A couple drawers here. Yes, sir. And then some storage right there. Very nice. A nice faucet with a little spray thing. Yes, sir. Single bowl, um, stainless seat, wow, too many S's. Single bowl, stainless steel sink. Sweet. <laughs> Great job, bro. A little bit of storage underneath that sink as well. Okay, okay. Got some storage up above around the microwave yes sir on a strut which i love yep nice big convection microwave there they're doing a lot of things right in here they that's sure for sure nice backsplash again we continue that the whole way let's see this window let in some natural light just like that yes and that's sir. on your camping side which is nice then you have a nice three burner suburban yes cooktop the elite series no lights wow, wow. and whoops a little oven right there okie dokie a little bit of storage right up top and then the nice big dometic two-way fridge and freezer yes works off of both propane or electric yeah i like that size sure well well it's now time for the tall test okay get on in there i have high hopes for this so do i Okay, that looks like a nice 30 by 36 shower. It is, yeah, I think this and is And Will, good. your head's not even in the dome. No, it's that, awesome. That's something that I love. Does it get the shower seal of approval? It sure does, bing! Very, very nice. And then over here, Will? Yep. We do have very nice cabinetry right there. Okay, medicine cabinet here for all your medicines. That's right. We do have a sink right here with storage right there and a multi-basket. And I'm getting this awning in. And then we have drawers right here as well. Four down. Nice. Come on out. Well, window there too. That's always nice in the bathroom. Yep, yep, for sure. And again, the high ceilings is super nice. It is. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I was worried. Were you? It is porcelain. Great job, Winnebago. And Will, this is a prime pooping position Ding! very nice and then finishing up go to the bedroom yes sir okay first thing yes i can walk around yeah very good we is that a have... king bed i sure think it's a king bed like it. yeah that's cool we do got hanging wardrobe right there very nice right there that's where a tv would be it does look like a king bed yeah, definitely a bigger bed. Very comfortable. Okay, I like this. I like how they added these, but not the ones up there. Right. That side storage right there. Right here. You know, it, a little yeah, bit of hanging space. It, it makes it so I'm not as claustrophobic. Again, everything oh, on the struts. Oh, they still have those. They do, yeah. Oh, but it's just not low. Right. Oh. No, typically I think what it is is they'll do a shelf up top and then the cabinets below oh, yeah, right yeah, yeah that's what they will do yeah but again with how tall the ceiling is here they did a pretty nice job yep and then just a little bit of storage not much cool well well that's it that's the review that's the 2022 that's our first 2022 travel trailer that's pretty cool now before everybody leaves it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it will what do we do first Three things we dislike. Okay. I've just got one. Talk to me. You want to go first? Yep. Okay, I did pass the shower test. Okay. But I will say it was awkward and weird getting in. Number one, it's pretty tight here and a pretty big step up. I didn't like that. Okay, okay. Great number one. Okay. Anything else you want to say about it? No, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, 
Simple Sweet. He didn't like that. That's number one. Number two, carpet. Yeah. No, we don't like carpet. We don't like carpet on the slide outs. We don't like carpet underneath the dinette. It is okay for this unit because it is probably going to be a couples coach. But still, never have been a fan of carpet, never will be a fan of carpet. That's right. So that's number two. And then did you have number three? I did not. Neither did I. Well, I had the carpet too, but... Yeah, yeah. Very good, very generic style camper. Um, well, that, that would be the pantry. Another dislike, sir. Is there something outside? Hmm. I know what it was. That's right, I remember. No solid oh, surface countertops, right. that's right. Yeah. This unit at this price point, I want solid surface countertops. Yeah, for sure. I'm totally fine with the fridge not being the residential style yeah. because it is the bigger one. I want solid surface so I'm paying if, if, if it's- 100%. If, yep, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, for that kind of money. Yes, great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now, even easier, it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. I'm gonna go first. Okay. That means you're gonna go first. <laughs> a ceiling height? Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. Love that. Yep. You don't find that in very many travel trailers at all. No, no. So for them to design it that way is very awesome, very nice, and yeah. pretty neat. That's number one. Number two, I like this bed. And I like how there's a second door directly to the bed. Yeah, that's you awesome. You know what I'm saying? Two doors are always better than one. You know, and, and with the size of this bed, it does make the bedroom a little bit smaller, but still very very nice feature that i really like yep so that's number two and then another like i'm gonna kind of combo it i'm gonna say the kitchen counter space again when you have smaller um smaller kitchen or corner kitchens like this yep especially since this is a closet you would tend to be really tight but i feel like it's not too bad they designed it really well they did and i'll combo that with the storage here and that pantry yeah the hidden pantry as well yep that is very very nice sir will well well that's it that's the review thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching if you guys have any questions about this motorhome please call text send us an email it is matt's rv reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell, or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contacting tabs. If you're in the market for a couple's travel trailer like this, in a few seconds, we're gonna put some great competitors right there and there for you to uh, just take a look at. Well, is there anything else you wanna say? Of course. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Like we said earlier, we just became a Winnebago dealer. So um, we will definitely be trying to get as many out to you as possible. Yep. And we are picking them up in more of our stores. So yep. um, if you're interested in a Winnebago, obviously give us a call. We'll try to find the closest one to you. Great. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you, you next time. time.